Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gerard and today I'm going to take six different slugs and I'm going to put them in a real life hunting situation. Plus I'm going to do some real ballistic testing on them so that you can take away some good data. I'm very excited about this. So let's go out there and let's get started. For today's illustration, I will set up all of these slugs to shoot through this crown at roughly 50 foot pounds. First up, the H&N 25 grain slug. Oh, that's two down with the H&Ns, 57 yards. Eighty three yards down. There was three down at 45 yards. The ballistic gel that I'm using today is from Clear Ballistics and has been quality checked to match the FBI standards. This gel is accurately mimicking the basic properties of muscle tissue. All the slugs today will be shot from a distance of 50 yards into the gel. <laughs> That's another one at 45 yards. Fifty-seven yards. It's another one. Two down. Fifty seven down. The other one down at 84 yards. Perfect, 101 yards down. Now it's time to shoot the 25 grain h and slug from 50 yards into our ballistic gel. The next slug that we're going to use is the 25.39 grain JSB knockout and that will be shot at 945 feet per second. Down he goes, 50 yards on the mark. Smoked him, 57 yards. Anchor team. That starling is dead in a sitting position on 60 yards. Fifty six yards down. Another one down, 60 yards. Nice. 
Smoked him, 134 yards. Oh, straight down, 39 yards. Forty one yards. Turn fifty yards. Nice little headshot to end off the hunting session with the JSB knockout. And here is that shot from fifty yards into the gel. The next slug that we're going to use is a 22 grain FX hybrid slug. This slug will be shot at 995 feet per second. Down 40 yards. Dead on the spot, 87 yards. Oh, dropped him like a rock, 89 yards. That's one down, 100 yards. Oh, he's down. 67 yards. Oh, smoked him 51 yards. Beautiful shot, 87 yards down. Oh, 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 oh. Nice light thought there with the FX hybrid, 57 yards. Knocked him back 50 yards. Ninety one meters down. This shot connected perfectly in the off switch, and that pigeon went down. So here's the FX Hybrid 22 grain from 50 yards into the gel. Next up is the Zan slugs and this is a 25.5 grain and I will be shooting this slug at 945 feet per second. <laughs> 67 yards. Forty one yards down. Another one, forty one. Oh, crack that one, sixty two yards down. Nice and close, 30. Ooh. 
a nice solid fat there. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Fatty out, smoked him. Seventy-one yards down. Woohoo! Devastating. That was fifty-one yards. Yep, that starling got smoked. Here's the sand slugs from fifty yards into the ballistic gel. The next slug that I'm going to shoot is the heaviest of all these slugs today and it is a 26 grain javelin at 932 feet per second. And down she goes, 55 yards. Thirty-four meters down. Oh. Smoke team, fifty yards on the mark. Straight into the chest there, 50 yards on the mark. Smoked him, down. And good, 51 yards. Down she goes, 75 yards. Oh, what a beautiful shot. Looks like a headshot that, another 75 yards. I got my timing and my wind call 100% with this shot. Very happy with that. And that brings us to the javelins from 50 yards into the ballistic gel. The last slug that I'm going to use today is the Inferno 25.4 grain and I'll be shooting it at 943 feet per second. Now she goes, 50 yards. Oof, 60 yards, straight down. Oh, oh, beautiful shot. 95 yards. Oh, that was 44 yards down. Ooh, oh, straight down, 62 yards. Smoke team, 40 yards down. Oh, <laughs> down like a brick, 101 yards.
Oh, perfect. Headshot, 72 yards. A nice little neck shot there to bring that rock pigeon down. And here's the Infernos from 50 yards into the ballistic gel. So my hunt is done for today and it's time to show you some data. But just before we look at that, here's a quick recap of each slug doing the business. By looking at these clips, I can't really see a big difference between all of these slugs. I think all of them are doing a pretty good job. So let's have a look at the terminal ballistic side of things now. Looking at all these pictures side by side, you can see the temporary cavity that's been left after each slug that entered the gel. And for those who don't know, a temporary wound channel only lasts for 5 to 10 milliseconds. And that inflict very little permanent damage to a wound. What is more important here is to look at the permanent wound channel that has been left after the slug has entered the gel. A permanent wound channel is the hole that is left after the slug has pierced through the muscle tissue. With all the data now that you've received, it might be difficult to make a choice between this whole lot. But maybe I can give you a little bit of guidance and help you out with your choice. The very first thing that you need to know is the size of the animal you want to hunt and what energy level is required to put down this animal humanely. The second thing to look at is the anatomy of the animal and where the vitals is located. If the slug have to pass through thick tissue or even bone, then I will use a slug that gives me deep penetration and medium expansion. For small animals, I will go for a slug with big expansion and little penetration. So what will happen if I swap my slug choices around? Well, if you use a slug that expands quickly with little penetration, then you might miss the vitals and sit with a wounded animal. But if you use a slug with medium expansion and big penetration, then you will still hit the vitals and put the animal down clean and humane. Maybe something to think about. Now that we came to the end of the video, most of you out there is going to ask me the question. Which one of these slugs do I think is the best? Well, the answer to that is all of these slugs work good enough for me. But if I have to make a choice and I have to choose a slug, I will go for a slug with decent penetration, decent expansion. But the most two important things for me is consistency with accuracy. And that's going to be my choice of slug. Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. If you like it, please smash that like button for me. And for all the new guys, please subscribe to my channel. You will help me out a lot. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers.